Good evening to each and every one of you. Uh, it feels a little strange not to be able to fill this stage with the thousands of people who've made my journey possible. But since I'm alone at the podium, I thought I'd spend my few minutes telling you why I do what I do and why I'm so grateful to be here. You see, I seek just one thing, the opportunity to do more for more children. I seek this because I feel anger and frustration and sadness and urgency, knowing that as I stand in this air-conditioned, carpeted, beautiful auditorium, so grateful for the privilege of being on this stage, somewhere at this exact moment, a child with disability is chained at home. His mother scared to set him free while she goes to buy vegetables. And a little girl in a school nearby has raised her hand hopefully six times, waiting to try and answer, but her teacher hasn't noticed. Somewhere in this moment, children are copying from a fading blackboard both questions and answers, and I see them thinking a little less with every day that they grow. Somewhere a class lies empty. The teacher hasn't come to school this month. Somewhere a child contemplates how useless he is for the student next to him scored a 97% versus his 85%. And somewhere a child just got whacked across the head. His head spins. And in that moment, he hates school and life a little bit more. I seek to do more for more children because those are not stories that I've heard or invented. I've seen that child copying mindlessly. I've heard the whack of a slap and a cane. I have seen learning slip, 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 and with it, children fall, their colors fading from bright, neon, fun, hopeful, to the dull gray of helplessness, mediocrity, and failure. For 30 years now, I have worked alongside countless others who I am immensely grateful for. Family, friends, supporters, colleagues, teachers, parents, and children, we have worked to bring back those colors, to shower children with the tinsel gold of dreams, the bold mango of belief, the gleaming metal of the roller coaster of opportunity, the rice paddy green of learning, the powerful white of love. There is a lot that I do not know, but I do know this. If our children dream, not tomorrow, but today, if they believe, not in the way things are, but in the way they can be, if they are given opportunities to learn, not just in school, but from life, if they love, both themselves and everyone around them, then the world will be a better world, gentler, kinder, fairer, more joyful. The world will lose a little bit of its gray and be more full of sunshine. And so, thank you for this opportunity to pause, for the road to equity for all children is long, and tiring, both joyful and really, really overwhelming. And it means a great deal to know that we all walk together towards that day where we promise a better India for our children. <laughs> 